Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the CPU throttle test on the Realme GT versus Poco F3 GT versus the OnePlus Note 2. So these two guys have been Poco F3 GT as well as the OnePlus Note 2 got the Dynasty 1200 processor which is clocked at a way higher 3 GHz and this guy is having Snapdragon 778 which is clocked at 2.4 GHz. But main thing is how long, how long, how consistent will be the performance if you uh, do intense games for the long time of period such as 1 hour, 2 hour uh, or even even great so let's check the cpu consistent how consistent would be the performance how much the cpu will be throttled if it is heating at all so let's check it out So guys, our CPU throttle test is completed and just look at that graph. So this graph is called performance over time graph actually. So it's work like that. If you're playing a games at the first time, then it would be showing a performance around 100. That means the CPU is using its maximum power and maximum uh, graphic setting. So you are getting 100% output from the CPU. And later on, as you game for about 15, 30 minutes, the CPU it generates a bit heat. As a, a result of heat, the CPU throttles its performance from 100% to 90% to reduce the heat and all. So this is what happens over here. So just look at the graph on the uh, Realme GT. This is very, very, very stable when we compare to the Dimensity 1200. This is as expected from the Snapdragon because Snapdragon 778 and you just look at this. Wow, insane performance guys. Really nice. And guys, it's no CPU throttling detected. That means it performance is being stable all over the segment because if it is not much because maybe from 100 it would be degraded to 795, not about 96, 97, 98, 99 and 100. It would won't be calculated. If it's more than 95, then it would be calculated, calculated as a CPU throttle and it's showing no CPU thermal throttling detected insane guys so if you are looking for long term gaming then it's perfect for you from the starting to the end you would get the same and just look at these two and so these both have dimensity 1200 and both are almost same the poco f3 gt has dropped its performance to 75 percentage and on the note 2 it's dropped to 76 percentage guys so look at the graph actually the graph from this beginning it was green and then going all the way down and you see after a particular time it is all the way in uh, below 80 percentage you would see the graph on both See, so 76% of CPU throttling and 75%. So actually this Dimensity 1200 needs some more optimizations with the help of optimization. It would be manageable guys, not a sort of big issue, but still a minor So if you start a gameplay, then at the first glance, it would be gaming like awesome. But after 30 minutes or uh, some more, even more, it would be started to uh, degrade its performance to reduce heat and uh, to reduce damages caused by them. So that's all regarding the CPU throttling test of the Poco F3 GT versus Note 2 versus Realme GT. So that's a clear win, win of the CPU throttling test is the Realme GT Master because it's have no CPU throttling test. No CPU throttle happened to this guy, the Snapdragon 778. 5G and one more thing is there guys uh, because this is clocked at 2.4 GHz so it, it is almost maintaining a normal um, performance and all but this guy is clocked at 3.3 GHz so what happens is that after a few minutes it started to generate a bit more heat so that's why resulting in uh, CPU throttling and uh, performance degradation so that happens over time guys anyways it's not a big issue but still it's uh, sort of a minor issue so is there so if you don't watch the um, Nintendo benchmark, Geek benchmark, uh, touch sampling rate, uh, display refresh rate, and what you test. Uh, I will drop the links in the description. Kindly check out. So, signing off, it's for Mania. Stay tuned and subscribe, guys.